Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to part three of my take a closer look at my Mirabella stash. Yes, or maybe you should say Nora Corbett since I have some of them as well. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, we're into the last box and if you haven't watched part one and two, just head over to, you know, the video list and go take a look at them. There's a lot of kits there. So in this box, I don't have that many kits, but I do have quite a few patterns. So this is Rapunzel and I love the story about Rapunzel. I love the latest Disney movie. I'm not a Disney person, but I like that movie. And I think she is just so beautiful. I love hair and I love her hair. Wow. Uh, I don't have anything else for her. I just have the pattern. So I should have gotten, you know, the full kit maybe since I find her so beautiful. She does remind uh, me of the um, Therefore Ar Art though. That special edition kit. She looks like her pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, let's take the next one and I said there's not so many kits but here is the kit here we have Echo Lake when I saw this I thought this was this Mirabilia was so different and I was like yeah I'm getting that and <clears throat> I think this is so cool. MD174. I just love this one. It is so freaking cool. I got the complete kit. And I buy my kits from Hawkins Hobbies. And if I just, if I'm just, you know, partial kitting it up, I try to buy it from a Swedish website. Um, so this is the graceful gray linen. And here we have a nice little note from um, Hawkins Hobbies that they were missing some of the um, water lilies, I think. But we have figured it out. Let's, I, I need to look at them. I need to feel these beautiful water lilies. You guys, it's like almost petting a cat. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. What's else in the kit? Well, it is the Kranich. I think actually it was the Kranich that was missing. So um, I bought that myself before Kranich started not deliver their stuff. Anyway, DMCs. The kit is all set. It's just, you know, grab your needle and you even get needles. So you don't have to grab anything. Yeah, you need to. Uh, you need a pair of scissors, so you get needles as well. And who doesn't have need is scissors. I mean, you can just grab your kitchen scissors, like Stitchy Man. Yeah. Beautiful. And why not, you know, have another mermaid? Is this the merchant mermaid? No, it's the gypsy mermaid. I have so many mermaids now, I don't know all their names properly. Which is bad form, I should know this. Beautiful. And I was thinking maybe, you know, you could stitch the the seahorses with one or one over one. 
and I will stitch her and Bluebeard's princess on this laurel. So I have a big piece of that fabric for both of them. Now, these water lilies, I don't think all of them is for her. I'm going to check that. And I have the embellishment pack. And this is, I bought these materials in Sweden, so I don't have the DMC. I'm going to look at the water lilies and you will look with me. Where are they? DMC blend. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different. Yeah. It's actually the water lilies here are for this mermaid. What a beautiful mix of colors, you know? Wow. Let's pack this up. And here's one of the out of prints. Um, it is the Seaside Kingdom. And one very nice lady uh, reached out to me because I want to collect all the miracles. And I have asked you guys to reach out if you have patterns you don't want uh, or if you want to sell, you know, whatever. And this lady reached out and she had this and she had it with the embellishment pack. I mean, how lucky am I? Very nice to have this. I don't know if I will ever stitch it, but if I want to, I have the beads, which I'm very happy about. What's next? Oh. Yeah, it's the second latest Mirabilia. The Twisted Mermaids, right? Yeah, Twisted Mermaids, 176. And they are so pretty. Also one I wasn't supposed to get out. I was like, nah, no, I will just get the pattern. And then I was looking and looking and they grew on me. And they're so beautiful. And we have the embellishment pack. Now we have all the gorgeous, gorgeous water lilies. Oh, I love that she's starting to, I'm not saying starting. I love it when she has so many water lilies in there. I really like that. So, so am I missing the Krennic? There should be Krennic. Yeah. So there is three different chronics in there and I don't have any of them. And I think it's, yeah, uh, it's difficult to get chronic at the moment. Here we have Sabrina, the beautiful, beautiful Sabrina. She needs to be stitched on something darker. And I have the embellishment pack. I'm thinking like a color in like with the roses, she would stand out pretty nice there. But not too dark because her dress is white. Thank you. 
And I think I don't have any more kits here now. So, we have the Blooming Bride, which I love. And I hate myself for not getting the kit before she went out of print. Ugh. The Blooming Bride. Do I have something else in here? No. And we have English Roses, I think. It's called... It's also an auto print. Yeah. And there's some of them. I think they're from, like, smoking homes. And they're smell... Something is smelling. I don't know which one. Beautiful. And, oh... One of my absolute favorite mermaids. Mermaids of the Pearls. She is so beautiful. Out of print. A light. We do have a little bit of. So this is Royal Games number two. You can have them, you know, any way you want. And I got the embellishment pack for that. It is something I've been looking at for a while, but since it's on white background, I didn't mm, like it too much. But then, you know. I really like the card, but I'm thinking if you do it on white, opal, you know, opale opalescent, white, you know, sparkly fabric, I think that will look really nice. And since I got Royal Games 2, I have the Royal Games 1 as well. And I love her headpiece there, you know. And the embellishment pack. I should actually have them together. Understand where did I put? I think I just lost an embellishment pack. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> okay, another mermaid. Also, a mermaid I've been looking at so much. I just love the flow here. Um, she's so pretty. Mediterranean Mermaid, MD-102. She has a lot of beads and treasures. And again, I think if that's possible to switch them out, I, I will do that. And then we have the Deco Art, Deco Spirits. It's just a pattern, but it's pretty cool. I heard there is some conversion in a black, I think, or grayscale. And then we have another favorite here. It is the Stone Roses, and oh, she's so beautiful. It looked so detailed, but I don't have the embellishment pack or anything. I just have her, and there is special stuff needed here. Um, yeah, 
curl buttons and stuff. I don't know if that's possible to get anymore. So I will grab this right away. No, not that one. Never mind. So we have fairy tales. Once upon a time. It's very pretty. It's a sweet one. I think this could be a nice, you know, you can put in, you know, your child's name and birth details. And this one is starting to grow on me. Angel Proclamation. I don't know why. I'm not so much for the kids, you know, stitching children, but there's something about it I like. So it's very pretty. It's very cute. Here, I found the embellishment pack I lost. This is Fairy Flora. I think she's one of the old ones. Yeah, number seven. She's so pretty. And oh, uh, Yanni. Yanni has just finished this one. It's so pretty and she changed the colors of her skin and her hair and it's so pretty. I like this brown uh, fabric. Um, it doesn't say. Oh, I love this one. I should have gotten the embellishment pack, but... Oh, it's Queen Mariposa. She's so cool. So cool. And I want to stitch all the butterflies on one over one. And here's one of the goddesses, Blossom Goddess. So pretty. I love the colors in, in this, you know, the color combination. It's very pre pretty. <clears throat> Here we have another um, out of print. This is queen of peace and I love her and she doesn't smell she doesn't smell nice at all unfortunately but she's pretty very pretty I love it it's very nice and here we have Damask Roses, and it is, is it the first Mirabilia? I don't remember, but she's still in her pack and everything. It has been opened, but it's also an auto print, and I just love the simplicity. I love it. <coughs> We're getting close to the end, guys. Don't worry. So we have two beautiful mermaids. The queen mermaid, of course. Um, it's the MD57. She's so pretty, out of print. And the deepest love. I think this is the Amsterdam linen as well. She's so gorgeous. Out of print. 
I can't wait to stitch the mermaids. They are so pretty. And I don't know if I'm ever, ever going to be able to stitch it up. Here we have one which is not a very favorite one. Uh, the baby boat, it's the MD-16. But if you want to collect them all, you need to buy them all. So I got this one. Uh, oh, here. Oh, Shakespeare's fairies, MD-103. I need to stitch this. And somebody told me, I think it was Lisa Stitching and such, I think it's called her floss tube. She said, you need to get the embellishment pack. Go get it if you want to stitch it. So I did. I did. So at least I have the pattern. I have the beads. Um, you can get the empty. So there's quite a lot of um, Kranich in here. But uh, we'll see. I hope it's possible to get the Krennix. Um you know, um, later when they start producing all the colors again, hopefully. And here it is. Yeah, I'm just out of words. Um, I'm not patriotic or anything. I'm not from the States. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, what she represents. And I want to stitch her so badly. And I want her like on black background or something. Yeah. Very nice. She's not my unicorn. She could have been half a unicorn. I have, you know, uh, Salem remembered uh, from, uh, I don't remember the names right now, but I have a unicorn chart, um, which is up on eBay for 300 bucks right now, which I don't want to pay. Even I have a limit. So we are down to the three last and they are not Mirabilia's. It is the Zodiac Girls uh, from Nora Corbett. And we are going to take a look at them. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> I want to look at them. So uh, let's see. And you don't get them in this pretty um, you know, like, uh, let, let me grab. So, you know, Mirabilia, you get like this. And I think most of the Nora Corbett's you get like this as well. But the Zodiac Girls, you got like this. And it's just, you know, some hard paper and the pattern is in there. So you can't open and close it too much. Or I'm going to take a look over there. The pattern will get destroyed, you know. If you, um, you can see it already. Let's see if I can. I don't know if you can see the white here uh, on the paper. If you open and close it too much, it's going to break. Anyway, Aries. They are so cool. They are so cool. I fell in love with them the moment I saw them. And I understand there's going to be 12 of them. And six of them are released. So here's the embellishment pack. Here are the water lilies. And of course there is some kind of metallic DMC. And the fabric, which is French Cafe Mocha. So I will have to, when I start working, I'm going to make 
working copies right away of the Zodiac Girl. So the, the patterns, I have the patterns in case they break, you know. upside down. So here we have um, Taurus and I just love that it's you know blue or like a tealish color purple gold yellow and she has horns you know so cool. So again, the water lilies and the metallic. And same fabric. It was important for me to get the same linen for all of them. And the embellishment pack. We have one more, then we're done. <clears throat> this is Gemini. so cool but they're very pretty very very pretty and I like that my daughter is a Gemini so I like that a lot it's very pretty I like this one and here we have the embellishment pack beautiful threads and some fabric. I bought the complete kit so I actually thought there was going to be DMC threads in it as well but it was not included. Which is okay. It's possible to get the DMC. So that's the Mirabilia stash I have at this moment. And, you know, a lot of them um, I will just put this one here so we don't have the, that much glare. You know, a lot of them uh, will just be patterns. Uh, I will not kit up everything, you know, but the ones I really fall in love with, I will get what, you know, all beads, specialty threads, um, if possible. So, yeah. But uh, this was the end of part three of my Nora Corbett slash Mirabilia stash. I hope you have enjoyed it. And um, yeah, maybe next year there will be a little bit more uh, Mirabilia to take a closer look at. Never mind. Let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>